Hi Danielle, Norm from Schaefer here with our 2008 Chevy Suburban. We're gonna take a quick walk around it. I'm gonna try to point out anything I can notice with it. Um, I did just get back from a test drive on uh, in this vehicle and it, and it seemed to drive out very nice. There was a pull to the right, but other than that, it, it drove out pretty good. Uh, I do notice right up front, looks like there's probably um, a break in the seal somewhere because as you can see, we do have quite a bit of moisture going on um, in that headlight. The other side is just fine, no moisture there. Um, right on the front of the hood, just your typical you know, stone chips here and there, nothing major. And it doesn't look like the front bumper is, I mean other than the occasional little scratch here and there, it doesn't look like it's too banged up at all. So front end looks good. You can see the wheel wells look pretty good, I don't see any um, Dings, rust, nothing there. It does have good tread left on there. Ribs, I can see a little bit of oxidation starting. You do have the running boards on here. Um, I did notice it's, you know, being that it's an LTZ, it is pretty loaded all, all around. Uh, power everything, windows, mirrors, locks. You see you got your heated seats, memory adjustable seating as well. Leather's in pretty good shape. I don't see any rips, tears, burn holes. Doesn't smell like a smoker vehicle either. We could see, um, as long as there's no, yeah, there's pretty big uh, glare there. But uh, no check engine lights on, nothing like that. Hop up in here. You can see we got the navigation on. And you can, since it does have it, you do have the backup camera as well. Dual climate control for driver and passenger. And then below that, power adjustable foot pedals. Quite a bit of storage space. This heated seat on the driver's side definitely works. Feels nice and warm. Get the pass through, of course, back here. These seats look pretty great as well. We do have headphones in there. DVD player. Take a look at these seats back here. Good. I also like to check in these doorways here. Um, doesn't look like there's really any rust going on there. Looks pretty solid in these door jams. Just a little dirty, but solid. And sneak peeks at the rockers under there. Also look pretty good. So, so far on this side, everything's looking pretty fantastic. We've got rear park assist sensors, little plugs in the back. Of course, your trailer hitch, backup camera. Ton of space. You could even fold those down. Uh, looks like we got the power lift gate. Okay, it might be off right now. Let's go double check and see if that's off. All right, sure enough, somebody had it turned off. Um, and also, a couple buttons I forgot to mention up here, of course, pretty important. Um, but we got your sunroof controls so that's awesome um, you have your universal home remote so it's garage door opener buttons there but uh, and fold down seats just by push a button um, now the button does not fold them back uh, but since we let's let's put play with that again there we go now that it's on it'll actually close right um, it'll open too but uh, it wouldn't open just, it wouldn't open electronically because it was turned off. So let's try that one more time. There we go, opens just fine. Then we can stop it midway. Now this side we're gonna get a pretty good look at the vehicle because the sun's hitting it at a good angle. But again, even over here, I don't see, wheel wells aren't rusting out. I'm not seeing any major dings or dents. So overall, drives out nice, very comfortable. I didn't hear any weird sounds. There was a pull to the right. Seems all the features do work on the vehicle. Uh, thank you so much for watching my video.